Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we're looking at the new MMP Shield Plus. They introduced this and released it a couple months ago. This goes in direct competition with the SIG P365, the Ruger Max 9, which was released on the exact same day. Sounds like a leak somewhere, that, that's interesting. And the Springfield Armory Hellcat and the Taurus GX4. It has the same slide as the original 3.1 inch shield. I'll show that now. Here's my holster for the original shield. It fits in there perfectly, so it does share holster compatibility. And it's a little bit wider, just a little bit on the grip, but it has 13 rounds. Three finger contact and a flat trigger. This is the standard Shield Plus. They have performance center models. The four inch barrel there has an optic cut for your favorite optic and fiber optic sights and ports and so forth. This is a standard one, MSRP 553. Let me go ahead and take a few shots and we'll talk more about it. That mag capacity makes a difference and that was okay now i took a few shots prior to recording and i did have uh, a couple failures to eject i don't know if that's new gun break in probably is because that functioned really well but the greatest improvement that i see outside of the increased capacity is the flat face trigger steps away from the hinged trigger that has become so common with the m p pistols does have a flat trigger break breaking at five and a quarter pounds with the reset right there so they did a nice job with that three dot sight same as the original shield already mentioned 13 round magazine but they also have a 10 round magazine with two finger contact right here and in, with that inserted, puts it in its smaller, conf smallest configuration for those who want to CCW this. You're looking at two-figure contact here. That pinky rests underneath the mag. But they did a nice job with it. It does have the sight hole indicator that we're used to. It's basically a shield with more capacity. The standard model is. If you go with the Performance Center, you get a little more bells and whistles that I already mentioned. But it, it's a nice handgun. A lot of people are comfortable with the shield. They have improved it, and they definitely wanted to go head-to-head. -head. They wanted to be part of that double-stack micro subcompact game, and they did with the Shield Plus. I picked this up for four, or, uh, 479 and that was a pretty good deal, all things considered. You're looking at between 550 and 600 for this gun at the time of this recording. I'm sure that price will drop over time but let me go ahead and shoot this 10 round mag see how I do here I'll start out with one handed and see if I can hit the target those last two I rushed and I knew I did because my sights were not aligned properly but nonetheless has the same disassemble that we're used to. Just lock the slide back, push that lever down, pull the trigger and off comes the slide. If you understand the shield, you'll know that that's a common look to it. it does have the dual recoil spring, all steel sights, and it breaks down nice and easy. And so a lot of people love the shield. They, they have, you know, with the four inch model, the Improvements they made throughout the years the shield plus kind of gives all that with the additional mag capacity Let's fire it some more. I backed up to 16 yards. Let's see how I do. I've got the 13 round mag in with 10 rounds loaded All right Looking at the width of the grip, you can see that the P365 right here is quite a bit thinner. The Shield Plus has a wider grip. I don't know if that makes a difference to you, but it does fill your hand. Let me go ahead and show the Hellcat. 
probably close to the same difference right there you can see most definitely wider with the shield plus i plan to do a range comparison very shortly with the shield plus and the p365 one of the things i like to do is slam the mag with a locked open slide to see if it will charge on its own and it did but it did not accept the round let's try that again And it did not accept the round. Okay, so at least you know that that will not accept the round. How about a lip wrist test? I'll be curious to see how this is going to work out because it's a new gun and I did have a failure early on. Probably just growing pains. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Okay, so that was a failure to eject. So it did have a case in there. Let's continue on. <laughs> and the case did get stuck there, so that didn't eject either. We'll continue. To forcefully drop that slide with a loaded mag is not the way to go, at least early on. So let's go ahead. And that did not work out. So, so far the lip wrist test did not work out with the Shield Plus and it is what it is it did it did uh, go to chamber the, the round it just didn't fully chamber so that's where we're at there with the shield plus i'm going to try that again i have a unloaded shield plus a loaded mag and i'm going to push as hard as i can on that slide stop and it will not charge so everybody who throws a mag in and uses the slide stop to charge the gun at least with this one it won't work initially maybe that'll change over time let me take a few shots anyways so there it is the new mp shield plus i plan to do quite a bit with this and primarily comparisons with others as well as continue to feature this and to see how well it breaks in over time i have no issues at all with the accuracy of the pistol i look at my target i'm pretty satisfied for when i look at it where it's impacting and i have no no issues at all did not pass the limp wrist test but we'll see how this does over time i can't wait to compare this with other micro subcompact double stack magazine handguns if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe.